Hey all, welcome to another Valley Forged. Uh, today I am still looking at layered art, just like in the last one. You remember I did this video, this uh, picture in the last one. And that was, uh, what I'm talking about is mixed media again. Like, this is paper and wood with a little bit of paint pen. And now I'm working with foam, craft foam. This is like $6 for a 20 pack at the local craft store. I got some of this uh, gold vinyl I had left over from when I was working with a vinyl cutter, which was very cheap. Vinyl you can find on sale uh, pretty easily, a lot of different colors. And what you could do is just, it, it has a glue backing. So you can just glue it to say, the back of a piece of wood. So I got this file here, I will show you. It, it costs less than a dollar. It was just a good, thing just to kind of mess around with. I thought it looked fine. You know, I look for things that people might want and then I try them out. Uh, I've had very good luck with this Corgi Bud, of course. Uh, these I've been making for years. I just modified this from another design and uh, I've sold probably a thousand of these things. Um, and if you're wondering how you do two sides, I'm not sure if uh, people wonder about these sorts of things. Uh, just let me know and I'd be happy to do a video on how to do that. Keychains are a great one because they use very little material and you get good money for them. I sold these for $5 and uh, they do really well. So I, you know, I'm now working on uh, ornaments for Christmas for that. Probably better to do it acrylic, which I've done in the past, but uh, now I'm working with a 5.5 watt diode at this current time. So I'm, I wanted to help people like, hey, what can you do when you have a low power laser? Do you just have to buy blanks and then engrave on them? Or can you only make little pictures and things like that? No, there's a, so many things you can do with a 5.5 watt diode. Now I'm used to working with 130 watt CO2 laser. So trying to change and do things with a, a little laser has been a bit challenging but fun at the same time. And little things like this really do sell well. And they're very easy to get patterns for and just modify to your own wishes. What I generally do with something like this is I will cut a piece of cork and glue it to the back. And it does make it a lot nicer. When you have, the difference is, is that when I was using the CO2, I could cut a thicker piece and it made it really feel like you were getting a full coaster. But there's nothing wrong with getting, you know, a blank like this and then gluing it down. Or there are some other things you can glue to the back just to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, these little bike coasters I've been making for years as well. You just put these again on uh, some cork board and uh, stain it different colors and mix and match. Now I uh, created this myself. Uh, from a different file and that's one of the things that's so great about lasers You could just create something from whatever you find whatever just makes you happy and so After making one of these I put uh, some foam here in between two layers of foam and then two two layers of wood And that worked out pretty well and I'm happy with it for a nice easy project but then my wife was like, hey, Christmas is coming up. You should probably make them Christmassy. So what I did is I cut out the back, of course. And uh, then I used a couple pieces of this vinyl. So what I'm going to do, I, I masked this off because we are looking at a shiny surface here. And we are using a laser. So I find it best when you're going to do any kind of shiny material is to mask it off first. I just got this roll of masking tape. Uh, pretty thick, it's pretty easy to get. A lot of times you could just cut things from the back, but this particular one was made for a cricket and behind this white here is silver, which <laughs> wasn't any better than doing the front, so I did mask it off. But what I'll do is just put the gold here on the back and then we will put a red piece, excuse me, stuck on there, you can see the gold there. Um, We'll put a red piece and a green piece. And then around the outside, we've got a, another piece of gold. Now I might want to put a piece of wood first and then uh, put this on the wood. We're going to check it out, but I'll probably just do it right on it for now and just 
kind of see what we got. And that's the interesting things about lasers. You try it, works out, doesn't work out. You get to be a mad scientist and try all sorts of different things. I actually made this wallet on the 5.5 watt laser. It's a four layer piece. It cut very easily and cut all the holes out. So all I had to do was sew it together. This is my first one. <laughs> I've got a ton of leather so I can make a bunch more um, in different colors and better, but this was just a proof of concept and it's pretty cool. So you can see there's such a variety of things. I'm not even scratching the surface of the things you can do with a 5.5 watt diode laser. So if you have questions, I have a 10 watt on its way as well. If you have questions, five 10 watt lasers, what can you do? What are you looking to do? What do you need help with? Shoot me a message in the description and maybe I'll just make a video on it. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.